What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Shep's Garage video. Today, we are doing another video on my Mark 8 Volkswagen GTI. And to be specific, one of the most requested videos in my comment section by many of my viewers. A big shout out to Ken. He was the one who first requested this video. So I am going to do it. Today, I'm going to talk about my turn signal indicators. <laughs> Before we talk about my turn signals, if you're new to this channel and this is the first time seeing my face on your screen, don't forget to please click that subscribe button down below for more Mark 8 GTI content and more other car content coming very soon. Uh, I am trying to diversify my content instead of just making it on my GTI, but you guys love the GTA videos, so I'm going to keep doing them as long as they get you guys enjoy them. So, if you're not... Uh, subscribe go ahead and subscribe It is completely free if you love and keep watching my videos because you're gonna help me become a full-time youtuber in the future anyways let's talk about my turn signals so I'm I have shown you guys these turn signals in multiple of my videos I think I've shown you them in especially in the night uh, with the video where I where I showcased off the Mark 8 GTI's lighting, these turn signals are not stock. If I click the unlock button here on my key fob, we can see that they are dynamic sweeping. And what's even better is that they are blacked out and smoked. And a lot of you guys had questions on where did you get those, how did you install them, and how much did they cost. So I'm going to go over that in this video. And I'm going to talk about... All you, I'm going to answer all your questions on these turn signals, basically. Before I answer all you guys' questions, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an overview on the Mark EGTI turn signals for the United States. For the United States, you, we have the boring turn signals because of U.S. regulations and having... Because the U.S. has a law where when you have a turn signal, you, there has to be a certain amount of light that comes out of that turn signal, which means that we get the less cool turn signals of basically all the European cars. So instead of our turn signals being amber, they are red, sometimes they're amber in certain cases, but anyways. So the Marquee GTI has the boring turn signals. So in Europe, this would be dynamic sweeping, this would be dynamic sweeping, and these rear tail lights, as I said in multiple videos, they are different. They have dynamic sweeping. The turn signals are not down here, it's right here. So the Europe gets different tail lights, different headlights, and different turn and different side signals on the mirrors. Now, the great thing about these aftermarket car company brands is that somehow, in some way, they engineer their own uh, European headlights, turn signals, and tail lights. So after they come to the US, we can put them on our cars because then in that case, they're somehow legal. I don't even know how that works. So if you want to get the European tail light, the headlights, the European side markers, and the European tail lights, they are they cost a fat penny. We'll just put it that way. I looked into getting some Euro, Euro tails for my Mark A GTI and they and the 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 nicest ones I've seen were around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. That's a lot of money for tail lights as of right now. For the side signals, which I'll get to in a minute, the ones from Volkswagen, which they you can get them from Volkswagen on ShopDap and many other websites, are three hundred dollars for just the dynamic sweeping turn signals. But that's not how much I paid. And then the front headlights are around seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for the Euro ones. So. A lot of money for just some dynamic turn signals, basically. But today, solely, we're going to talk about these. The dynamic turn signal indicators in my mirrors and how that I only paid a very, 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 very small fraction of that $300 price tag if you got the OEM ones. Let's start off with how much did these cost? Well, thanks to, uh, thank me later, but I'm putting the link down below in the description to the exact ones that I have on my car. They are off of AliExpress, which I thought was a scam at first, but it turns out they're actually a pretty reliable website. They, they came in around two weeks, and they only costed me $13. That is right, $13, like, 94 or something like that. After shipping and taxes and things like that, it was around $20 all in. That is a pretty good deal for blacked out smoked dynamic turn signal indicators for your mirrors and the second thing and probably the most important thing is how do you install these something like this so the, uh 
I did it with, with a friend of mine, he helped me do it, but I'll go over the general concept of how you install it. It, sh it usually takes around an hour to install. So all you have to do is if you come into here, if you tilt this mirror down, there are, which I don't want to do since my seat and profile memory settings are messed up, so I don't want to have to readjust the mirror, but um, if you tilt this mirror down, there are two clips in the back. If you just get a flathead screwdriver, you can unclip these two clips. They're really relatively easy to, and then that basically gets the mirror cap off. Once you get the mirror cap off, then you have access to the turn signal indicator, which is plugged into the mirror somewhere around there. You can, all you have to do is unplug it, plug this new one back in, line it up with the hole over here, as you can see, and pop the mirror cap back in, back on, it just snaps on with two clips, and well and behold, without around basically half an hour, 15 minutes, half an hour, you have dynamic turn signals on your car. And it's just, and it's easy as that. I think this is a definite must-do modification. It's a no-brainer, 20 bucks per dynamic turn signals. It makes your car look better, and uh, who doesn't like dynamic turn signals anyway? So, that is how and it's everything you really need to know about these dynamic turn signals. They're super easy, super worth it, and I highly recommend it. The link's down below. I'm not getting paid to do that. I am just being nice since you guys really love my turn signals. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, smash that like button. And as well, since this video isn't super long yet, I guess I could tell you guys about what's happening tomorrow with this car. So tomorrow I am taking this car to service because for two things uh, I am getting done. The first thing I'm getting done is my memory seat. I mentioned this in the last three strange problems that happened with my GTI. The memory seat doesn't work. I have no idea why. The easy entry doesn't work either. I don't know why it's not working, so I'm getting that addressed. Second thing I'm getting done is I am getting a brand new rim installed on my car. As you can see, if I can find it, where it is on part on somewhere around here it is bent right down there i think that i it's really hard to see but it is slightly bent it's causing a vibration when i drive fairly quickly and i would like to get that fixed because if i end up do selling the car and if i do get aftermarket whims and i put and I leave the stock wheels, it's always good to have a f set of four wheels that one of them isn't bent, so I am getting a new rim to put on. Some may put, say that that is a waste of money and I should just put that towards new wheels. Others may say that it's a good use of money since I'm now going to have four perfectly good Volkswagen 18 inch wheels. So yeah, I'm getting that done too. Who knows how long that's going to take. I will update you guys in the next video, of course. So, yeah, that is everything you need to know about my turn signals and what's happening with this car tomorrow. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.